Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with the Final Cut Bro. No matter how much I brush my teeth, there's always this tinge of yellow going on and that's usually probably because I drink a lot of coffee. So today I just wanted to show you how we can fix that digitally and I think it'll oftentimes make your clients feel a lot better about themselves and more comfortable on camera. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is come down to our effects panel down here in the bottom right and we are gonna add a hue saturation curve. We'll drag that on there. We'll jump on into that and we are gonna come over to the hue versus saturation curve. Click that eyedropper and select the darkest part of your tooth or whatever's the most yellow. And we'll see that it creates this dot here. Now we don't wanna accidentally take out our skin tones. So we're gonna want to add an additional dot right there so that it doesn't fully select the skin tones. It will a little bit, but we can work around that. And then we're just gonna drag down this orange marker down so that our teeth are white. And then we might even space this out a little bit more so we can get just a little bit more of that yellow. And already it's looking weird, especially with my blonde hair, but we will go ahead and fix that. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is come up to the upper right hand corner and add a shape mask. Select that and we are gonna just shrink it down to the size of our teeth and then shrink the feather way down. Feather it up just a little bit. And then the last thing we're gonna wanna do is add a hue versus luma curve. And so we'll just select the eyedropper, select our teeth, that'll find the yellow, and we can just drag that up so that our teeth look nice and pearly white. Now you definitely don't wanna take it too far um, as it can cause some weird banding and stuff, but just enough to give you a nice smile. So if we play that back, we've now got a nice set of white teeth. Now, if somebody's talking and moving a lot, you're gonna actually need to animate this mask. So you select the mask, add a keyframe, move forward in time, and then just adjust the mask as needed, which can be a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it for the end result. So that about wraps it up. It's a super fast tutorial, but hopefully it's helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button and consider subscribing as I have brand new tutorials just like this one every single Wednesday. With that being said, I will see you next week.